Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a cool subject for us this afternoon, so let's go ahead and dive into it. What is our question for today? Selling. If I can do it, you can do it. What did he say? I said selling. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, that's a really cool topic, and let me tell you why. When I first got into selling, I didn't know nothing about selling. I knew you had to ask for stuff, you had to talk to people, but that was about all. I just got excited. I saw a guy's paychecks. I saw all the awards that my friend had won, and I was like, dang, what are you doing? I ain't doing that because I wasn't making no money, honey. I had three jobs. I was working in, in just the restaurant business and doing electrical work. And I'll tell you what, I was starving to death because back in the 80s, they didn't pay you any mind, mostly nothing at all. And in this regard, I got lucky. I ran into a guy. We were at this pool place called Sulphur Springs there in uh, Tampa, Florida. This guy told me about what kind of money he was making. I'm like, you got to prove it to me because I don't believe you. <laughs> And so he, he lived right around the corner. We went by there, and he showed me his paycheck. I was like, dang, what is this? He had triple, quadruple what I made in a week. And I was like, dang, what are you doing? And he told me what he was doing. He was selling. And I'm thinking to myself, well, how do I get to do that? I don't know how to do it, but do you, can these people teach me? Yes, they can. So remember, selling. If I can do it, you can do it too. Now, not everybody is meant to be a salesperson guy, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because some people have what they call thin skin, and if somebody says no to them, it's like saying boo. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what, they won't sell nothing. They're afraid. But see, here's the thing. Sometimes we have to face our fears, false evidence appearing real. And then by doing that and going out and actually trying to sell something, we get over our fears. Now, I ain't saying the fear will completely go away because it won't because I still have my moments of fear. But I also have a lot of moments of clarity. And I know that, hey, I've trained for this. I've studied for this. And I'm always learning how to be a better salesperson. And I am also have learned the key to success and selling is to have what they call a selling conversation just talking asking simple questions and then asking for the order it's that simple now I didn't say you're going to get a sale every single time because it's what they call a numbers game but if I can do it you can do it and see the key to success in selling is you got to try if you don't try how do you know you can't be successful at it and it is a learning curve though guys I'm gonna tell you what a lot of times when they first get you into selling it's like dang man I don't know what I'm doing but if you start hanging around with people that are consistent winners and that means they're selling stuff consistent now I didn't say hanging around with manipulators and people who take advantage of people I'm talking about hanging around with people that are real sales people mentors business owners and people who know how to talk to people, how to sell and have good selling conversations. You know, our subject for today is selling. If I can do it, you can do it too. This is a mantra you have to say to yourself. I like myself. I like myself. I'm a great salesman. I can do this. I can do this. I'm a great salesperson. And if you say this to yourself long enough, eventually your brain's going to think, okay, <laughs> it's just like if you go up to a, a barber shop. After a while, you keep going there, you're going to get a haircut. The same thing with selling. Selling is a great opportunity. It's a great career. But it is a work in progress. And it's an ongoing progress. That means you have to learn your process. You have to learn sales strategies. You have to learn tech, you know, techniques on how to ask for the order and close stuff. You know, I've seen some of the best sales people that I've ever worked with, they don't even look like they sell it. What they look like they're doing is just having a conversation just like we're having right now. But the difference is, is they was listening, they was asking questions, they were making the customer feel good. And in this regard, they wrote up the order. And I'm like, dang, how'd you do that? I started learning how to do that. All you have to do is just remember, if you can build up enough for the customer to say the value is way up here and the little bit of money I'm going to pay you is worth it, then you got yourself a sale. It's that simple. You know, I'm right here in my car and it's summertime. I'm sweating and the reason why I'm sweating is because I got the air conditioner down because I don't want that blowing noise to bother you. Because I'm telling you what, you're important and we matter. And our subject today is selling. If I can do it, you can do it too. Listen. 
there's a lot of salespeople when they first started, they weren't no good. They were kind of mediocre, but they took the bull by the horns. And next thing you know, they stuck and stayed and they got into a field of sales that was good for them. Sometimes you got to go through a couple of sales jobs to find the one that fits best for you. What's your niche is? You got people who like to sell things they can physically touch, you know, like furniture and things of this nature. Then you got some folks, they like to sell ideas like insurance and things of this nature. So you really got to feel your way through the selling field. But if you don't try, you can't be successful. And remember, I said it, if I can do it, you can do it too. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but reality is look at those people that are selling stuff. They all started at the same place. Now, some people have had better training than others, but see, here's the key. You got the internet now, guys. There's nothing keeping you back from being the best that you can be. Now, if you feel like you can't do the job, that's okay because not everybody's meant to be a salesperson, but I bet you are because you are searching, you're learning, and you're wanting to be the best that you can be. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all the stuff that people just gloss over when it comes to selling. But remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. And you have to think that way. You have to believe that way. See, a lot of times people give up before the miracle, before they start selling. And I'm going to tell you what, you're going to have your good days, your bad days. You're going to have what they call ups and downs. And that's just reality and that's life. It don't matter. But see, here's the difference. If you're working in sales, it is a great field to be in. And I'm going to tell you what, there's so much money to be made. And we're looking for quality people just like me and you. Top sales people didn't start there. They had to learn and earn. And if you're a salesperson, or even if you're a quiet person or a very outgoing type personality, the world has so many different types of people that we need a good salesperson to talk to them all. Because the people that I may talk to may not be the kind of people that will buy from, from, from you. Or the same in, in this regard, the people that will buy from you may not buy from me because people are visual. They are like, you know, they're always watching this. They're seeing the things that we do, you know. And, and in this regard, listen. If I can sell, you can too. I mean, literally, you have to take it that way because, see, listen, you know, salespeople, we make the world go around. Without salespeople, you have no business, you have no company, and they need us. Now, I ain't saying we're out there manipulating people, taking advantage of people. We're the kind of people that are honest, trustworthy, and we're always looking to be the best that we can be. Because selling is awesome, guys, but you have to be the best that you can be. You know, if you're a person who wants to be mediocre, you must not want to be in sales too long. Because, see, here's the thing. The top 10% make most of the money. The top 2% make most of the money. So where are you wanting to land? Even if you're not at the top and you're in the top 30%, then that, that's real good. But if you make it up to the top 10%, where I like to be, you're going to be real, real successful and you'll do really, really well. If I can sell, if I can do it, you can do it too. Selling. It's a, it is kind of a complicated job and it's sometimes it can be hard because a lot of times if you're going from a different job and selling a different product because maybe the company didn't work out and the company went out of business, because I've been there and I've done that, I had to relearn all the technologies and all the different product things that were in my selling genre. And I'm going to tell you what, I love selling. I love it all. And the big thing that I like about selling is that you can make all the money in the world that you can make. Commission is a great way to be. It's a great field. It's really cool. And people are really, really cool too. Now, every day ain't going to be a good day. And you may find yourself having to deal with a lot of situations and things that you're not familiar with. But the more you do the process, the selling process, that is, and the more you learn, the better you'll get. It's just the reality, baby. It's so true. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, a sales guy. And like I said, I'll tell you all the stuff that a lot of times salespeople come Kind of gloss over but listen guys not everybody is meant to be a salesperson you got a lot of people out there that if somebody gave them an objection they go uh, uh like the deer in the headlight and they'll stop but listen if you feel in your heart that you've been called to sell 
congratulations. It's wonderful. I love it. I didn't say it was easy, but it is a process. You have to learn all the basics, the fundamentals. And if I can do it, you can do it too. You got to tell yourself that. And remember, I'm one of these kind of people that likes to build people up. I'm not like a crab, like to pull people down. I like to make sure that the kind of people that are around me, I'm always happy, smiling, saying good things, building people up and motivating people. And if you're around people that are like a crab pulling you down and trying to steal your dream of being a salesperson, run! They can't even be your family. Be careful. Don't, don't even talk about stuff that's got to do with selling around them. Oh, they're selling. That's a terrible thing. I can't do that. Oh, of course you can't, and you never will. But don't tell me that I can't. And remember, selling, if I can do it, you can do it too. You know, I put on a smiley face button every day, and the reason why is because I want to remind myself to smile, and I want my customers to smile, and I want them to be appreciated. And listen, after a while, when you start selling, you got to learn now. You got to get your basics. You got to get your fundamentals. Get your little selling toolbox and carry it with you, and you'll be all right. It takes time. And the more you do it, the better and easier it gets because it's a process. And I love this process. I love everything about selling. I've been in retail. I've been in door to door. I've been over business to business, over the phone, and I love it all. And I'm going to tell you what, if you're trying to get into sales, if Gary Lee can do it, you can do it too. But you have to try. If you don't try, you may find out years later that I really wish I would have listened to that Gary Lee. He, all he told me was to do was try because he said, if he can do it, I can do it too. And it's very true, guys. You know, you got to get around your mentors, your people that are successful. You can't hang around the water cooler where they still have those and listen to the naysayers and people say, damn, I can't sell, man, I don't know why, blah, blah, blah. Because what will happen is you end up being one of them blah, 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 blah people and you won't be able to sell nothing. I've been there and I've seen it. Oh my gosh, ain't a good place. And I run like, hey, okay. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. We just had a very simple conversation about selling. If I can do it, you can do it too. You just have to remember, man, the harder you work, the smarter you work, you set your goals, you do the plan, you learn the process the company's got for you. And remember, you got to ask for help when you ain't making it. If you're struggling, you got to tell them, hey, look, I need some help. Hey, I'm out here busting butt, but I need some help. And then sometimes if you're in a job that's just not working out that's in selling, don't give up on sales. Go out there and find a sales job that will fit you, and I guarantee you, you'll be successful at it. Remember, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. If Gary Lee Stanley, the sales guy, can sell something, you can too. <laughs> so do me a favor. Go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling, okay? Our subject for today is selling. If I can do it, you can do it too. So just remember that. If you think you can't, you won't. But if you think maybe I can, if I try, keep trying because you will. You'll be successful at it. And remember, hey, not every sales job is meant for you. So try a different sales career, a different sales job if that it just feels like it's not the one for you. But don't give up on selling. And remember, Gary Lee said, if he can sell some. I can too. Yes, you can. A little fist bump to remind you that you're important and we matter. So go out there and sell something. Get your feet wet. And listen, it's okay to have those days of fear, false evidence appearing real. But you've got to remember, give yourself a break and try really, really hard. And remember, if Gary Lee can do it, I can do it too. So go out there and sell something and have a nice day. All right.